Oh, happy hump day. Hey, babies. Hey, babies. It's feeding time. Uh, we've got, I've already got it ready. Summer got their food ready. We've changed their bedding. Welcome to the channel, Bibles and Bullies. Let me try to get these babies out of here. Without, well, hold on, hold on. Let me put the camera down, guys. I should have got that on video, but I couldn't do it one-handed. They all, I, I put the box right here at the bottom and they all just jumped in. So let's get these guys eating. Uh, I normally try to get the little guys first. So this, this little boy, and we're gonna, come on buddy, go eat. They're getting, uh, see they're getting pretty active now. They're crazy. There's no chill here right now. We've got seven boys, three girls, if you're new to the channel. And I'm going to be, uh, they're getting their ears cropped and any of that need tails docked. Okay, guys, hold on. I know y'all are hungry. We're a little late this morning. So, come here, little guy. Get you a spot, bull. I try to make sure the little ones get in, get a spot before their big brothers and sisters push them out of the way. We've been doing a mix of uh, goat's milk or puppy formula. Uh, water, obviously. We use uh, Bully Performance Food. Origins Whole Food Topper, of course. I use that on all my dogs. And I think that's it for this mix. Let me move these guys around a little bit. Here, guys. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, there's room for everybody. They eat fast. It doesn't take long. Um, we're very thankful that they're at this point now and all eating good on their own we're slowly making the mix more dry um, as this week goes they'll be transitioning into solid food um, so we just keep adding more food to the mix each day and it gets drier and drier and that's the, the essentially the weaning process that we do whenever we take them off of their mom um, unfortunately these guys they lost their mama about three weeks ago, so they're uh, five weeks now. Like, they were five weeks old on Friday. Well, they're about to be six weeks this Friday. Yeah, it's going fast. All right, so these guys are ready to go the 1st of January, all right? Um, they are getting their ears done this weekend, and they'll be healed within a week after that. Um, you can expect anywhere from 2 to 5K for pricing depending on whether it is a pet only or you have full uh, breeding and show rights as well. Now, if I crop a tail on a pup, like this little guy, more than likely I'm gonna crop that tail. Well, maybe not. We're gonna take a close look at them. There's a couple that we wanna crop, like that one. Um, if they get their tail cropped, they would not be able to show in ABKC um, you could in like UKC, BRC, uh, some of the other registries don't care, but we've been with ABKC since we started. Um, we're not planning on leaving or anything. I just inform people. So just because a dog has a fault doesn't mean that it's not a breedable dog or showable dog, um, but you do want to be careful with the faults that you allow. Um, there will be a couple of these puppies that are a pet only meaning they will not be able to breed or show and we will determine which ones they are uh, these guys are a absolute mess right now as you see but once they finish eating and you can see right there they clean each other up um, they've been honestly everybody's doing really good we're very 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 thankful that uh, they're doing as well as they are um, we were very obviously disheartened and sad when uh, our girl doe passed away and just so you guys know she was she was hit by a car guys there was nothing that um she didn't have any health issues 
like she was run over in the middle of the road. Um, it was not a good night for us, uh, but we've been taking care of these guys ever since. And thankfully they're being pretty good pups overall and they help and take care of each other too. If you're interested in one, you can email me, delrayleydesigns at gmail.com. Um, hold on for a minute, and I'm going to show you the two bigger pups that we still have available. I've been showing them for a while, but they're looking really good. So hold on, let me go show you. Hey pups, what y'all doing? These are my older pups. So, I've got the black boy right there laying down. Um, that is Boots. He's available. He's awesome. He's getting really, really nice. He's starting to fill out. And then Miss Polar right here. Uh, she's a thick girl. They're both four and a half months. Um, Boots is a little older. And this is his sister, Lightning. She's staying here. Uh, but Boots is available. If you guys have seen the channel, uh, Champion Buster. And hold on and I'll go let him out. Alright, so that's Buster. And Buster is, he's a full-blooded brother to Boots. So he's the exact same mom and dad, just two years older. So you can see what the blood's going to do, okay? Um, both of those pups are available. Buster is not. I just wanted to show you what Boots could potentially be. And, uh, yeah, hold on. All right, here we go. Buster, Buster, come on, man. What you doing, boy? So, but that's pretty much what Boots is going to look like. That little guy right there. They're going to be close. He's a little lanky right now. He's still filling out. Um, but he's going to be a, a very solid boy once he completely fills out here. Miss Polar is already, she's a stocky little girl. She's awesome. Her mom is knee high. Um, if you've seen my channel, knee high was a super shredded girl and her daddy is champion loso um, boots daddy is grand champion jaws and his mom is bustello who's she's here um, she pretty much looks just like buster like it's hard to tell the difference between them most of the time and uh, yeah if you're interested in either one of those boots and polar are 2300 as a pet if you want full rights, then it would be 3300 If you need delivery, I do offer delivery. However, that is additional. Okay? So, don't forget to hit subscribe. Hit like. I'm not here to just sell you dogs. We teach about a lot of stuff as well. I did put a lead on a couple of these yesterday. Um, so, Van did pretty good. Solo and Fly screamed like they were, like I was murdering them. So I'm going to set up a camera <laughs> and let you guys experience what I experience and the fun of trying to leash train uh, raw puppies versus, you know, we'll get Champion Buster and Champion Loso out too. And I'll show you guys the difference of a trained dog versus an untrained dog. Stay tuned to the channel. I hope you guys have a great day. Stick around and we will see you soon.